Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I am the Average Doomsday Prepping Dude. Today's video is the first of my CZ PCR do-it-yourself videos focusing on how to remove and replace your factory roll pin that retains the firing pin. We'll also be showing how to remove the firing pin and the firing pin block plunger. Uh, we'll be upgrading the factory roll pin with a CZ Custom solid steel retaining pin. Uh, the reason for this is because the factory roll pin is a part that is prone to failure. I found this out the hard way. Um, one of my pistols was not cycling because the firing pin was in the forwardmost position and not resetting. And I thought I had a broken firing pin or a uh, the spring was bad. So once I took everything apart, I actually noticed that my firing pin was really beat up. You can see it on this firing pin here, or this retaining pin here. Uh, the other one was in much worse shape, but you can actually see this one is still pretty beat up. Because what's happening is the firing pin, as you dry fire and live fire, is really uh, abusing this pin. And because it's a rolled piece of metal, um, it can compress and uh, all the impact will eventually destroy the interior or the inside of the retaining pin. So having a solid steel uh, retaining pin is obviously a better choice. Once I discovered one of my pistols had that problem, I actually took out all of the retaining pins and I found out a lot of them were actually going bad and I didn't even know about it. So it's a kind of a maintenance thing that you should kind of be aware of. Uh, these parts are, you know, five to eight bucks from CZ Custom. Just buy a whole bunch for as many CZs you have that actually have the retaining pins and just replace them all at the same time doesn't take that long so let's go over that process today you will need a few tools before we get started the first is a 1 8 inch punch mine has a little nubby at the end to sit into the side of the retaining pin so it doesn't slip and scratch your frame as you're hammering it out second is some kind of bench block uh, you will need a hammer and I also like my magnetic parts cup thing from Harbor Freight again I use these in a lot of my videos um, so let's get started Okay, so once you've safety checked the pistol, you actually do not need to take the slide off in order to remove the retaining pin. So with your 1 8 inch punch, a little nub, just stick it in from the right side uh, going to left and hammer that out. Make sure that the pin can fall past the bench block. So just kind of hammer it out. It'll take a couple whacks. Once it comes out, it's pretty easy. It just comes out. You can actually kind of see through the uh, the retaining hole there. Uh, the reason why you actually want to do it with it still on the frame is because when I cock the hammer, if I take, if I were to slide off, you can actually see the firing pin inside moving back. So if you take the slide off the frame, the firing pin would actually be further back, so you'd actually have tension coming back. So putting it back on uh, putting the new pin back in will actually be easier like this because then you're not having to do an awkward put this in your belly button and hammer it through. So again, you can kind of see it moving. You'll actually see it better in person. So that's what that looks like. I'm going to take it off so we can actually take the firing pin out and I can show you what that looks like. Uh, let's do that now. Do that like this. Put it in here. Take this aside this there, this there okay so once you have everything taken apart uh, the firing pin is not going to come out the reason is is because you actually have your uh, firing pin block that needs to be engaged for the firing pin to move forward all the way forward and come out so just take your punch it's not going to shoot out too far if you just depress it it will just come out at that point so once you have that out flip it over and then your uh, firing pin plunger will look like this. You can clean it, you can do whatever you want with it. That's pretty much how you would take apart your entire firing pin assembly, your firing pin spring, firing pin block, uh, sorry, firing pin safety block and your retaining pin. Okay, so to put everything back together, start with your firing pin block plunger and you're gonna to wanna to have the cutout upwards facing you like so. 
you're going to just put it into the slide like this. You're going to take your punch. Again, I'm standing, so I'm just going to put this into my belly button. I'm going to just depress the firing pin block plunge firing pin block plunger and stick the firing pin in this orientation here with the cutout facing the top of it so it should be looking like that so i'm just going to drop it in with the firing pin block engaged um, and then once it's in it's not going to go it's not going to shoot out once you have the plunger engaged and it'll look like this you can actually do this one of two ways you can hold your punch into here, then hammer this, hammer the new pin in, because if you don't, you can see that the firing pin is resetting, um, and you will not be able to get the pin in unless that unless that clears all the way. So I'm going to put my pistol back together just to make life easy. And do this, take this, do this. And once it's back together, you're going to want to hammer it from the left side of the pistol in. On your new CZ solid steel retaining pin, there should be a little uh, dimple. And then this should have a rounded edge. You're going to want to just drop that in O. You also want to have your hammer all the way down. That way the firing pin is in its forward position. So with the dimple facing up, you're just going to take this and grab your punch and knock this in. Give it a couple taps and it should literally just go in like that. And then you can check both sides to see if it's even. And that is how that looks. So again, it's an overlooked part that uh, I highly recommend and, you know, it doesn't take that long to install this. So if you want to make sure that your pistol will have less chances of failure when you need it most, replace this retaining pin here and you'll be good to go. So if you like what you see, like and subscribe. We'd be having more PCR do-it-yourself videos in the future. Thanks a lot for stopping by.